this could be you while you're on vacation, but instead, this is you. Hello? Ugh. God, I'm so stressed. But did you know there's a way to make passive income while you're on vacation? Let's talk about it. Most people think that when you mark your calendar as out of office, that means that work pauses for a bit. But when you're a creator or an online business owner, that can be really scary and intimidating. Walking away from your business for days or weeks at a time, especially thinking about putting your earnings on hold. What if I told you you could actually continue to earn while you're away? You can pause, but your income doesn't have to. So let's chat about five things you can do to continue your sales and automate your business while you're on vacation. Step one planning your content. One of the most important things that you can do to keep your business running while you're away is just continuing to post, which means you have a little bit of homework before you take off. Filming your content in advance. Batching your content and filming a lot within one or two days will allow you to work with lots of B-roll and existing footage. Now, I know this process may sound like a lot, but to make this a little bit easier, I suggest that you use content pillars. Decide in advance the type of content that you want to film. For example, while I'm away, I wanna film three trending audios, three talking head videos, and three social media tips. That way, you can diversify what you're posting while still filming everything in advance. Having a content calendar is key here, and if you don't already use one, you can check out our version in the description below. Now that your content is ready, head over to Instagram to schedule out your content to be posted while you're away. Okay, so we got content covered. Step two is running a sale. To drive extra excitement to your offerings on your store, you can run a sale while you're away. That way, new audience members or folks who are on the fence are more motivated to buy from you. This is super easy to set up once you're logged into your stand store. Head over to the product that you'd like to run a sale for, toggle on the discount code option, and you can create your own code. You can have a ton of fun with it. Name the code vacation or summer sales. And now that we got that set up, schedule a post announcing the sale. This creates buzz and exclusivity around your offerings, which is key. So now that you're bringing in all these new customers, what happens when you're away? You're in luck, because step three, we're talking all about automating your comments and DMs. And thankfully, you can get this done in minutes by setting up ManyChat. This allows you to automatically respond to comments and DMs while you're away, because you don't want anyone feeling like they got left behind. As simple as that step might seem, it is super important to continue to drive engagement while you're away. But I would say step four is even more important. Drum roll please, setting up your email campaigns. This opens up a direct line of contact between you and your customers even while you're away. Setting up your email flows is super simple and of course can be done through Stan. I recommend having an email flow set up for each one of your products because a customer opting into your freebie is gonna be at a very different stage of their customer journey as someone who's purchasing a high ticket product from you. Think about your digital products like a ladder. Your freebie is gonna be step one and your higher ticket product is gonna be step four. Your email flows actually act as steps two and three. Whatever next step on the ladder they have, communicate why purchasing that product would be the right next step for them. Your goal is to communicate the value they will gain from that next product. When creating your email flows, I also recommend spacing out your emails. Five emails of the course of a week may not be enough time to attract a repeat customer, but creating, let's say, six emails over the course of two weeks will give you more time to build a relationship with that customer and in turn, generate more sales. Okay, so we've checked off steps one through four, which will allow you to run your business smoothly while you're away. But there's one final step I wanna discuss, which covers the scariest part of this process, coming back. Because if you were truly checked out, that means you weren't filming much, which you didn't have to stress about as your posts were already planned. But now that you're back, this fifth and final step will ensure you have content already in the bag, AKA featuring customer testimonials. The easiest way to do this is setting up your confirmation emails with a link for folks to leave you reviews. Once you're back, you can go through and screenshot testimonials your customers left and feature them in a reel highlighting their success. Whew, we made it you guys. We got to the end of the five steps you can take to automate your business and continue to make sales while you're on vacation. I hope now you feel so confident that you could throw your phone in the ocean if you wanted to. Please don't do that, but I hope these tips were helpful in thinking about how you can continue to scale and automate parts of your business so that your business continues to work and you don't have to.
So I didn't pre-record my content. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna go jump in that pool.